once again to another one of my live sessions. This will be a oil painting of a, a figurative nude painting. Those of you who are into this type of je ne sais quoi, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in. Here we go. All right, this one is in English. I did the last one in Spanish. Uh, this one will be in English because uh, I'm cool like that. So I'm going to start out by drawing, okay, with a, with a compressed charcoal. I'm going to start out by drawing the figure. And this, of course, is, a, is, a, is an expressionist rendition, okay? Of the female figure. I think it's a female figure, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I will start out by doing this drawing. The reason, one of the reasons I like to start out by doing a drawing is because it allows for that looseness. Okay, love the sister's paintings. Thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate that. By the way, the sister paintings, the sister's paintings is in my eBay shop and, and the auction started at $1. Uh, I don't know if other people are bidding on it or not. I don't really pay much attention to it. I just do them and let them go. So uh, go check it out. It might be there. If you want a link for that, let me know, and I'll make sure to give you a link. I'll DM, I'll DM a link for you. It's a fantastic little way of, of, of uh, getting original artwork, I think, you know, the auction site on eBay. So here we go. Here's how I start this painting. Now again, because uh, the nature of the work is loose and expressionistic, one of the things that I do is that I don't pay much attention to the coloration of the painting. And I know this sounds a little bit weird and some people are like, man, well, you should pay a lot of attention to it. Uh, I actually don't. And there's a reason for that. Well, the main reason is because I start thinking. And if I start thinking, uh, there's many places for thinking in artwork. There is just no place for it on in my studio. <laughs> uh, thinking and painting i've come to understand don't go together okay so this doesn't mean that i didn't do my homework this doesn't mean that i don't know what i'm doing uh it just means that i go beyond the idea of oh let me think about this and it doesn't matter whether you're doing abstract or expressionist or 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 hyper realism or whatever you're doing uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Don't think that because, oh, it's because he's painting abstract. That's why he doesn't think. That's not true. That is, if, you, if you've painted long enough, you will realize that it doesn't matter if, if, if you're doing fucking stick figures. You're still going to think about it uh, and because the mind wants to do that, right? The mind is, is insatiable when it comes to thinking and you have to guard yourself as an artist. And, and there's ways of doing that. There's ways of doing that where you're not constantly... Thinking because the, the problem about thinking when you're painting is that you are you stop creativity. See what I'm looking for is opportunity when I'm painting. See, I'm looking for opportunity. As a matter of fact, I spent too much already on this. I'm gonna go now over here. Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna switch colors a bit. Okay? Because what I'm looking for is opportunity. Opportunity is is beyond the whole thing. And, and what I mean by opportunity is that I am looking for opportunity of expression, okay? I'm looking for opportunity of expression. If you spend too long in one place, uh, this has been my experience anyways, uh, the opportunity for expression kind of, kind of, uh, you, you kind of mute it and somehow. You, you suppress it if you spend too long in the same place. So this is one of the reasons why I don't do thinking when I'm painting, and it's one of the reasons why I... I leave the whole realm of, oh, here, let me think about this thing or, or, or the, 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 the tone or the, the composition and on and on. I try to leave that as much as possible. And, of course, I'm, I'm only human. I'm not completely saved from this thing, right? Uh, but, but it is through lots of practice, lots of... Um, practice with just painting and, 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 and not really spending much time 
in in the whole idea of value, tone, and all that. I did spend time on all of that. I'm not saying don't do that. When I was studying art, right? I did spend time on that. What I'm talking about is don't spend time on it when you're painting or try not to. That's what I'm talking about here. I'm not saying that all oh, those things aren't important. Of course they are. They're extremely important, right? As in your in your development as an artist, they're extremely important. What 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 I don't agree with that a lot of artists talk about is that is that you should always be so engaged in what you're thinking when it comes to the painting because I think that you'll miss the painting. I think that you'll miss it. If you're constantly thinking about what you're going to paint, I, th I think that you miss the, the, the painting itself. You could very well miss it. And, and that's what I'm talking about here. Okay? I'm not saying it's not important. I'm not saying you shouldn't. You get the point. So. Here's what I'm doing with this one right here. Boom, baby. Ha, ha, ha. Just like that. And also, the more, the more you, you sort of practice um, letting go of it, the more you understand also that, that you start understanding sort of your style, your thing. And even that, you have to, at some point, let it go, too. Because uh, it, it does become a hindrance to, to, to be fixed in a style, I think. I think. I don't know. Uh, I don't know for others, but for me. Anyways. So. Here's what I'm doing. I want to put some green here. I want to put some, I don't know, maybe some right here. model almost as a a walking type of expression right almost a walking expression walking dead something like that Another thing that I like to do is is try to move from 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 one place to another. You see what I'm doing? Sort of kiss it in different places. Try to move because again, I, I'm, it, it's like I'm it's like I'm mining for gold. I'm looking for opportunity. Yes, I'm an opportunist. <laughs> I'm looking for opportunity in the painting. Some a little in a little a little something that will allow me to go in there. And express, right? I'm constantly looking for that little opportunity. And if you're always thinking about the next thing, you miss the opportunity. That's what happens when you when you paint and you you're always focused on the next brush stroke. If you're focused on it, meaning that you're thinking about it, that's the type of focus that I don't I don't uh, recommend. Then then you 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 could be missing. The opportunity of actually painting, actually making the painting, you can very well start missing that, and, and, and it's a hell of a thing to miss that opportunity because, in in painting, I believe that what's most important, it's not really, it's not really to depict something with certain style or certain whatever, I think what's most important is to express it fully. I, I think. For me, this, is, has been, this has been my experience. Expressing fully, fully expressing myself, it's much more important than, than worrying about, about, I don't know, value or... or or the tone, or this doesn't mean again, you know, if it's if it's your cup of tea, then by all means, right? But I tend to to be careful with that myself. You see, 
and I become sort of an expressionist colorist deal. And there it is. There is my model. Simple like that. Uh, no need, no need for extra complication. You know, the, the mind wants to complicate it. We 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 try to complicate it all the time, but there there is definitely no need for it. Look, got some highlights and and you're more than good to go. Even with the back of the the brush right here, I might be tempted to do something like this. There you go. Okay, and then bam. There's my signature. My name is Slim Shady. No, my name is Jose Trujillo. <laughs> and I am the world's greatest living artist. Uh, I didn't choose the art world. The art world chose moi, baby. The art world chose moi, baby. Yeah. Okay, let me do a close-up. Or a detalle, as they say in Spanish. Or I say in Spanish, too. <laughs> There's a close-up. Look at that. Super expressionist, super awesome, way too cool for school. Let's give it some space and watch it come to life. Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't know. Where are you going? I feel like she's walking like a parrot. You know, like the parrots, they put their wings behind their back. I want a parrot. I didn't tell my wife I want to buy a parrot, but then again, I feel bad about having it in a cage. Maybe when I get a big, huge, um, maybe put a nest, not a nest, a net, a net. On a, on a backyard somewhere, and then I could have a couple of parrots there, and then and then let it, and then let them go, because I mean, you know, fuck it, they have to fly away, or or walk away. Check it out. Any cool? Bam! All right, guys, thank you so much. Take care. Talk to you soon. Uh, by the way, if you like this type of work, if this is your 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 cup of tea, you'll love all the work that I have on my eBay shop. Okay, go check it out. The link is somewhere down here. You're going to check it out. If you don't see the link, make sure to ask me for the link. It's probably in my profile. Most definitely in my profile. Or I'll, I'll put a link somewhere down here. All right. Take care, guys. Adios.